Hello, my name's Karina Thompson and welcome to another episode in the series on configure within MySonet embroidery software. In this episode, I'm going to be introducing you to the thread stock tab within ThreadCache and I'll be explaining why it's a really useful tool to help you monitor the thread that you have in your workroom and also how you can access that information when you're out and about shopping. If you're a subscriber or own a copy of MySonet, why not subscribe to our YouTube channel and that way you won't miss out on any of our future episodes. In this video, I'm on a PC with the platinum level of software installed, but everything I show you today you'll be able to do on a Mac. The principles are exactly the same. And also, everything I show you in this video you'll be able to do in any of the tiers of the MySonet embroidery software, including the free basic level. You might find it useful to watch the two earlier films in this series where I explain what thread cache is and show you how to start building your own thread databases. So I'm on the thread stock tab of the thread cache module within my Sonet. So let's take a moment just to talk about what's going on here. In the earlier films, I talked about how you can have multiple thread databases. And if that is the case, you would choose the database that you want to work on by clicking on this pull down arrow. I'm not going to do that today. So let's zoom in a little bit so I can talk a bit more about what's going on with the database. And you can see we've got a thumbnail here that's indicating what our thread looks like. We've got some technical information in terms of the thread company and thread range, plus the shade card number and a name that the thread company will have given that thread. The next column on is explaining what sort of thread that is, whether it's a metallic or a rayon. And next to that is the weight. Then we have the number of spools and the size of those spools. And there's a column for our notes. So for instance, let's say I've been doing a project and I know that I have used up some of my threads. And in particular, I know that the information about um, this Madeira dark sapphire thread is wrong. The database is saying that I've got three reels of it um, and in actual fact, I know that I've used two of those up. So I'm going to click on uh, that line. I can see, you can see it's blue. And then I'm going to come down and I am going to check the edit selected box. And that opens up this dialog box. So I know that I've used up two of my spools. So I'm going to check set number of spools and then I'm going to change that to one. If I needed to change the size of a spool set, I could um, do that at this point. And if I need to, I can actually add some notes. So I'm going to check the set notes and then I'm going to type, I need 1000 meters for a project that I've got coming up. So I'm going to press OK. And straight away, you can see that we've got some changes here. A uh, number of threads in my database has been reduced down to one. And I've got a note here. So another way of getting uh, that um, edit selected dialog box up is to double left click on the line that you uh, want to change. Here's um, the edit stock uh, for the dark purple. Now, in this case, in actual fact, I know that I'd used up th all three spools and I had to uh, get some more thread in. So in actual fact, I've only got one thread uh, spool in, but the spool size in actual fact is a thousand meters. So if I need to change my spool size, I can do that that way. I don't need to put any notes on there, but I'm going to put OK. Now, I also know that when I was getting that dark purple, in actual fact, I got some more of the uh, pumpkin color. What I can do, again, if I just double click on the, the number in the spools uh, column, 
dialog box opens up and I can just type in one. And then when I click off that, can you see that's actually made that change for me? A nice feature that I find really useful is this column here with the stars. And this allows me to actually mark the threads that are particularly important to me with a star so that I can find them a little more easily. It's almost like bookmarking. So I know if I've got a project coming on that I can star the threads in particular that I am likely to be working with. If I need to, I can uh, print out uh, the database, but more importantly, and this is a great feature, if I click on the upload button, that's going to upload my database to uh, my part of the MySonet cloud. And you can see we've got a dialog box here that says your threads have been uh, uploaded. And there's a hyperlink here that I'm going to click on. And that's opened up the thread cache part of the MySonet.com website. This is my database here, but it's online. So that means if I'm out and about shopping, I can get out my smartphone and I can go to threadcash.mysonet.com. And if I'm logged in, I'll be able to see my thread database. How useful is that? So that means if I see a project, for instance, that I want to do, I can check whether or not I need to buy some more thread. If I see threads on offer, it means I can identify the specific shade colors that I like and use. It's just a very adaptable tool. But let's just take a moment to have a look at some of the other features here. So if I scroll down, can you remember I'd starred some of the threads that I knew that I needed to uh, look at? If I click on this dark sapphire, I've got a thumbnail here so I can check that it's the right color. If I go to the notes and click on that, here you can see it says in my notes, I need a thousand meters. If I do go and uh, purchase them, there's a checkbox up here that if I click, and that's put a little P alongside the thread color here. So when I'm back in my workroom, I can update my records. So I hope you can see how useful it is to use thread cache to see what an embroidery design might look like using the threads that you use in your workroom. And also having a database that you can access when you're away from your workroom so that you know the stock levels of those threads. If you found this a useful film, please give us a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Happy sewing.